So, you know, we as RVers talk a lot about what's in our RV, but this week in our collaboration, we're going to talk about what's in our trucks. So stick around. So welcome to this month's collaboration and welcome to the Roadsmith. So if you're new here, I'm Ken. And I'm Pam. And this month we're talking about what's in our truck. And we're not talking about, you know, the engine, the, the rear end gears, horsepower, torque. You know, that's just for gearhead stuff. We're talking about what we use in our truck to safely tow our fifth wheel and things that we use in case we run across a, a mishap along the way. As we always do, let's introduce the other channels that are part of this collab. And I say collab because that's kind of what we say in the business, you know. What? So, what? what? Okay, wait, moving on. <laughs> so our collaborators for this month are Dustin and Leslie from Wayward Wags, Jerry and Teresa from Happy Place Diaries, Lawrence and Natalie from Brazen Brits. My name is Lawrence. And I'm Natalie. Wait, you did get the right Natalie, didn't you? Oh crap, I'm so confused. My name is Lawrence. And I'm the actual Natalie the this actual week. actual Natalie. <laughs> Chris and Katrina from My Everyday Getaway, and special guests this month are Jason and Jennifer from No Sticks, No Bricks. So we hope that you enjoy this video and pick up a couple tips and tricks from us, but definitely go find some time and check out the other channels in this collab and see what they're doing, because we all have different perspectives of what we carry and we actually learn from each other. We'll put links to their videos below, and some of the products that we'll show here, we have in our Amazon store, and we'll actually put uh, some links to those below if you find those useful. So let's get into it. So let's talk about what's in the bed of our truck. But before we get to that, let's talk about what's on top of the bed of our truck. We use a tonneau cover. This is a backflip MX-4, and the four signifies four panels. And that's important if you're towing a fifth wheel because you have to have access to the fifth wheel hitch. The tonneau cover keeps our stuff dry when we're at the campground, keeps stuff locked up, can store a lot of things you know, in the bed of the truck. We'll show you what it looks like when we actually tow the RV with the cover up. Now let's talk about what's actually in the bed of the truck. And how we fold this up. All right, so now I'm up in the bed of the truck and we keep a lot of things up here. First and foremost, we keep spare uh, diesel and spare gas, two five gallon containers, uh, one each. And so that is uh, for the generator as well as uh, if we're in a place where we know it's gonna be a long way between uh, Phillips or potentially, then we'll keep spare five gallons of diesel in the bed of the truck. Um, I've got some safety equipment up here that we'll show through in more detail. We keep our Viair up here as well. Our generator is in the back of the truck, but probably the most important thing is our fifth wheel hitch. And so we have a pull right 2600. It's about 60 pounds and that, that works out really, really well for us. He, you know, gives us a lot of room to still to store stuff. Uh, we do have some uh, trailer chains that we have to connect up here as well. And one secret surprise that I'll show you here in a little bit as well. So we keep a couple storage bins to keep the water off because as we said before, when we tow our fifth wheel, the tunnel cover has to be mostly open. So we want this to be waterproof. So in one of the bags, it says Viair, but there's actually more than a Viair in here. We've got our bag. Um, and again, this will be on our Amazon store. We'll show you that. But these are just so paramountly important. They're 12 volt uh, compressors and they can go up to about, I think 150 PSI. And so our fifth wheel takes 110 PSI cold and these have no problem inflating those. So these are definitely worthwhile. And we keep it in the back of the truck because we might want to use that not only for the RV, but also for the truck itself. Uh, we keep a very large fire extinguisher back here uh, just to have in case we run into an issue along the way and something happens with the truck. There is a fire extinguisher in the RV, but having something a little bit more handy. I need to find a way to probably mount this a little bit more handy, but we keep that in the back here as well. On the other safety one, there are a number of things that we have in here. Some I'm going to attempt to lift out and some are pretty heavy, but we've got these pop-up safety cones and these are really cool. So if you are alongside of the road, then you do want to have that. And they might actually, uh, you know, double as a, a witch hat in, the, in, uh, in Thanksgiving. That's a different video, I think. Um, 
We've got a uh, tire repair tool because you got to have that, and you can see that it's sealed. So thank goodness we haven't had to use that. That's been that's been uh, a good fortune. Uh, we do have, uh, and this was something that Pam actually got me, and I looked at it when I first got it for Christmas. I'm like, what did you get me that for? But got a little portable shovel just in case you run into some mud or some dirt and you get a little bit stuck. Uh, that's good to have. And, you know, we're not big off-roaders, but I know that's a big thing for them. And that's very helpful. A little first aid kit. So you've got to have that as well. Some more of these. And we've got a little bit of a jack stand here. So in case we need to jack something up um, or keep something jacked up, we have that. And we have a uh, four ton bottle jack and so that and this is very very old but it still works i used it here recently so keeping a bottle jack in to jack up your uh, axles if you need to and actually had to jack up our slide one day to kind of get that uh, fixed so so we keep that all in these safety buckets here all right so let's put this up and i want to show you something else that is back here and this is super low tech but who doesn't like a great milk crate? So we keep two of these back here and we secure them with a bungee cord. And the purpose of that is that we put our wooden blocks that we keep under the front jacks in here as we pack up and we keep our chocks after we pack up as well in here. And so we secure them to the back. It allows us to close the tailgate up and it's just a good safe uh, place. So they're not, you know, rolling around, bouncing around, moving around the back of the truck. And that just, you know, that really, really helps with those things. And they fit perfectly in there. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to show you in the bed of the truck is something that is super important and I haven't used it enough, but you gotta have a fishing pole because you can never, you know, you never know where you're gonna find that perfect spot when you're traveling. Now finding a spot to park when you're holding fifth wheel may be a little bit difficult, but you gotta have a fishing pole in the back. So I think it's time to go check out what's inside the truck. So something inside the truck that's very important to us is a good seat cover because Mika, our dog, is a shedder and we make sure that we have this covered at all times. And this is a really nice one, again, on the Amazon store if you're interested. And these are some new tools that I've found that work really well in removing the dog hair from this and from the carpet. Also, my little stash of things that I need. Um, we carry this collapsible water bowl for her to take with us when we hike or just when we're traveling so that she can have something to drink in the truck. Um, I have a spare leash and a spare collar because you can't believe how many times I've left the RV and forgotten her leash. So it's always nice to have a spare. And most importantly, a spare bag of poop bags. So we talked about some safety things we keep in the bed of the truck, but we also keep some safety things here in the back of the truck. And so we keep some reflective uh, clothing, if you will. So I have a reflective vest in case I need to get out and change a tire or do something or, you know, check on something when it might be, uh, you know, a little bit dark outside. I have a reflective raincoat. So if it is raining and you need to do something outside, then at least you're visible and you can keep mostly dry. Uh, keep a set of gloves. It's important to have those to keep the, the fumes off of your uh, off your fingers. Some people use disposal gloves. We've done a little bit of that as well. Keep some ratchet straps in case I need to ratchet something down that maybe came loose. Got to have that. Um, even though we stop at a lot of truck stops to get diesel and they've got great um, uh, squeegees to wash your front windshield, uh, I keep one of these in here as well and it is extendable. We keep this in case we pick up some food, even though it's not a great cooler. It is somewhat insulated, so it helps. Um, this is really important. I just started using this. And so uh, with all the truck troubles that we had, and you've seen those videos, to protect the CP4 pump in the uh, in the Ford Super Duty, uh, you use this LX4 Lubricity. I've been using it for about two months. We're not sponsored, don't even have this in our Amazon store, but from what I understand is this really helps keep the, uh, uh, the pumps lubricated. So that's what's in the back of the truck for safety. Let's go to the front of the truck and see what's up there. All right, so let's talk about what's in the front of the truck that we use when we travel. So like many people do, uh, you've got to have a good tire pressure monitoring system. So we use the, uh, uh, the TST truck systems um, technologies, and this has worked really, really well for us. Uh, we've got four sensors on the fifth wheel, and it helps uh, give you uh, up to the second um, 
uh, temperature and pressure reading because we definitely don't want to have a situation where we're overheating tires or we are losing pressure either suddenly or um, you know, even slowly. So we run into a problem that way. We have our Halo View BT7 Touch uh, up here as well, mounted on a suction cup, and we did a re review video on that video uh, recently. So we'll link to that. It's uh, worked out really, really well so far. Uh, we've got a phone holder here uh, to hold our phone that connects into our CarPlay, so that allows us to, uh, you know, get access to maps, my radar, things like that. Uh, some people will have a front observation camera. We don't actually have one of those at this point. Uh, we keep, um, because we are Texans and we spend a lot of time in Florida as well, we keep a front windshield shade here to keep the sun off the front when it's parked. We do have a small umbrella here, and so we kind of keep that handy. Probably should put that on Pam's side. That probably would be more, uh, more, more gentlemanly of me. Um, and something that I keep in here, and this is probably, I, I almost guarantee I'm the only person uh, that keeps these, um, is compression socks. And so for those really, really long drive days, making sure you don't have, you know, issues with uh, uh, deep vein thrombosis. Uh, I have had a pulmonary embolism once in my life. And so if we're doing a long trip, I will put these on. And let me tell you, I get some funny looks when I go into a truck stop with my slides on and the, uh, and the compression socks up to my knees. These are the things that we felt have been really, really important for us as we travel. So I'm going to wrap this up. Definitely would love for you to comment about anything that you saw that you may have interest in, more questions about, or something that we don't have that you find really, really interesting as well. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, and we hope you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. But most importantly, don't forget to go and watch the other videos in this collaboration. So thanks a lot, guys. You guys have a, have a good day. And remember, if you can imagine it, you can explore it.